Recently, I've been working on a capacitor bank project, and as you can see in front of you, there is a capacitor bank. Now, a capacitor is basically an electronic component that can store and release electrical energy. A capacitor bank is multiple capacitors connected together. Now, the point of building this is to have a device that can store and release electrical energy very quickly. So, if I were to charge all this all these capacitors up to 140 volts they would contain about 140 joules of stored energy and I can release all that energy through the test stand very quickly in a fraction of a second possibly less now when all that energy is released it has to go somewhere so it'll cause a small explosion right now on the test stand there is a piece of steel a spring and I'll show in a few minutes what happens when I release that capacitor bank through there. First, I'll give a few specs on the bank. It is 32 capacitors all connected in parallel. It can charge up to 200 volts, but the charger only allows it to charge up to 170, and it is 1 100th of a farad. The capacitor bank connects to the wall. It receives 120 volts. AC, that AC is rectified inside this charging unit, put into the bank. The bank can be, voltage can be measured via multimeter, and the test stand uses a spring-loaded release discharge mechanism connected to a string. And I've got the, everything set up so I can put the camera here and record the explosion also photograph it. So first turn on the bank, start charging. Okay. Set the focus. 120 volts through spring in 3, 2, 1. Now, that was all the energy in that capacitor bank being released, and it melted the spring. It actually caused the steel to burn, and those sparks just erupted everywhere. Now, I'll reset and show some different objects being exploded. I have reset the bank, charged it to 127 volts, and put a piece of aluminum foil on the test stand. I'll now detonate this aluminum foil at 127 volts, firing in 3, 2, 1. That completely drained the bank, and Terminals are now safe to touch. It welded the aluminum foil onto the terminals and vaporized a significant quantity of it. The white sparks you saw were actually aluminum burning in oxygen. It, get, it got hot enough that it actually lit on fire. I'll reset and do a few more explosions. This is aluminum clad copper wire in three two, one. This is aluminum wire at 140 volts, firing in three, two, one. This is aluminum wire at 150 volts. This is aluminum foil at 160 volts in three, two, one. This is a piece of nichrome wire at 130 volts, firing in 3, 2, 1.
if you're interested, I've also used this capacitor bank to make some long exposure photography. If you're interested, please click the annotation on the screen. If not, thanks for watching.